Hi, this week's Parsha is Parshas Vayera. In this week's two-minute discussion, we are going to show two ideas, two fundamental truths that Rav Shimshon Rav Hal Hirsch extracts from a peculiar posik in this week's Parsha. Right in the middle of the narrative, just as Moshe and Aaron's mission is going to take a turn for the better, we are interrupted with a family tree, a genealogical register, a list of heritage of Moshe and Aaron. Why? And why now? Rav Hirsch points out that this is the precise time where such a thing would be appropriate. Because Moshe and Aaron are about to accomplish what no man has accomplished before, and no man will accomplish in the future. This is the precise time we need to be told they were born of men. They were men. They had uncles. They had parents. They had cousins. Because there is often a misconception in other cultures that the minute someone accomplishes great feats, they are somehow born of gods. They are somehow demigods. And the Torah is standing against this misconception right here, right now, right at the time where this misconception could start to fester. But Rav Hirsch points out that the opposite idea is also false. Yes, Moshe was a man, but he was not any man. God does not choose any man. We are told that there were options, there were cousins, there were uncles. But God chose Moshe and Aaron because of the qualities they had. So to recap, first of all, we do not believe in the immaculate conception. We do not believe our leaders are born of gods. We do not believe they are demigods. And secondly, we do not believe that any man can be a messenger of God or any man can be a prophet. You must be a great man. And that was Moshe and Aaron. Have a wonderful Shabbos.